Yeah, so we're going to carry on looking at the madness in Hollywood right now. Yeah. Um, and this story is a bit mad as well. Yes, it so, is, yes. Jonathan Majors, you might know him. He had a... Used to be say, Kang the Conqueror. <laughs> used to be Kang, had some legal trouble, to put it lightly. Lightly. That's ended up with him really having to, um, I guess, start again, to be honest with you. Literally. But before he starts again with his career, one film that was in the can and was due to be released, but didn't, got pulled because of all the controversy. That film is Magazine Dreams, and what's happened now, we're hearing that Magazine Dreams has been given, and we'll be Dark getting distribution. a distribution and a theatrical release. Um, no release date has been set as of yet. Rumour is it's gonna be around December, January time, possibly okay. for some awards, possible buzz, Ooh. but we're gonna see. So. How do you feel, bruv, about Jonathan Majors' magazine dreams now being released? Do you see this as Hollywood now maybe starting to bring it back more into the fold? Is this just someone or is this a distributor? Because they're not a well-known distributor. Mm. Is it someone trying to cash in on the whole viralness of everything that went down? Maybe it's good, it's controversial to have a movie for a meme out. How do you feel? What do you think about this situation? I feel, I feel like... Uh, it, uh, man, it's so sad that race has to come into it. Yeah. Because I'd prefer if it didn't and it was just like, he was this, he was that, he did this, he did that. That's why he's having a hard time. But if he was white, he wouldn't be having this much of a hard time. It wouldn't have even affected his career, uh, if at all. And that's what's annoying because I just wish that he carried on with his run and his rise because yeah. you know he was rising. Yeah. And yeah. that shit got cut dead. Quickly. In its, in its, quick like its tracks is done. His whole career paused and then dropped. And it's like, nah, man. And you know, again, he was one of them. I got an eye for these, for these like guys. Like I know when someone's gonna pop off. And when I saw him in White Boy Rick, I said, this guy. This guy I didn't even know his name yet. I said, this guy, he's the son of Anne, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's gonna blow. I yeah, know he's gonna. Yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, so I seen him in everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then next thing you know. He's chasing, he's, he's, sorry, I was gonna say he's chasing a white woman down the street. No, he's getting chased <laughs> by a white woman down the street. Real, and now real, real. he's the one that's getting us all charges. Yeah. It's wild. Crazy wild. And Crazy. now, <laughs> Disney did what they always do to save face, even though all the crazy uh, shit that they do behind. Yeah. Wash my hands clean. Nothing to do with us yeah. when you could have easily saved him. Yeah, it's just annoying. It's, I don't know. His, his career is weird to me because I feel like it shouldn't have affected it, but it's affected it. And I actually think it's going to be a massive stain on his career. Like, I think he may not never get back to that place. Oh, uh, yeah. You yeah. know, and I worry about that because yeah. I believe he is that good yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. to be one of the best. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And it's I just agree. tarnished because <sighs> some people just don't like to forget. Yeah. No, bruv, I totally agree. And I remember... Remember when we went to see Creed? Yeah. Um, and Ant Man, had, I think, was coming out or was about to come out. And Man was an issue on the top of the world, bruv. Because this, we knew Magazine Dreams as well. We had that in the can, so we knew you've got your Marvel movie, you've got your Creed movie, which is franchise, and you also got the Oscar movie. Everything. He was running things, bruv. He was running things. Even, I mean, they've, they've kind of deaded Kang now. They're going to go to Doctor Doom route. But even then, you was, you was in the position, and then for this to all happen, I'm just gonna say this, look. One, in Hollywood, there's about, I'm just, let's even say conservatively, I reckon there's these 30 to 40 big stars that have done much worse than him. Yeah. 100%. No, like, not that, even that close. Easily acting yeah. now that have done Way worse. madness, literally yeah. madness, but they're fine. Um, I think, his career not only was derailed by a jealous, entitled woman, it was derailed to the fact where I guarantee now, bro, and I know this firsthand, there's people that's never gonna look at him the same way. Yeah. yeah. Never. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's the Chris Brown effect. Yep. It doesn't that's matter what, what Chris yep, yep. Breezy does for the rest of his career. The rest of his career. Someone always yeah. bring that bring it up. shit up. Bring it right back always. Up. Yeah. If he posts it on an Instagram, 25 years from now, someone will still say you beat Rihanna's ass. Yep. 
You just can't it's, get away from it. Sometimes it still happens. The stain is there. I, I read something on it can do. The, this week just gone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about it. So I know for facts and how many years. And people still say he was 17, he was 20 when it happened. No one gives a shit. No They're never going to let no you forget it.